I think we're going to try and do a sim league. Yes. Right. Yeah. And, we'll uh, probably get back into uh, probably down to Cottonwood because they have the most flexible sim league, yep. most likely. Because yep. I mean, you you can play like a couple weeks in advance down there, and you don't have to feel like you're on a schedule really, yep. which is kind of nice. Um, so we'll it's some of that in. but uh, but again, I am. Like, it's just interesting because we took one year where we played a sim league and then we, our, we, we didn't take take long for us to find our games that year and then this past year we took the winter off played a little bit of sim golf i think it was a mistake but then but then we get back to work and we had a lot of work to do at the beginning of the season to find things right so i think i think staying swinging the clubs is, huge, is important i'm not a huge fan of the simulators to boot but i i, I, I don't like the game because it's a video game but um, but i do like to get out at least once a week swing on the clubs yeah um i'm trying to formulate a you know winter workout routine uh for the winter you know swing in clubs exercise blah 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 to try and again you know this was my best season of golf and i would really really like to build on it next year oh me too man me you know, too um, it's it's just it's so much fun to just watch Watch that handicap number tick down as we just start playing better was, and better and better. Right, and and again, you know, I'm not going to speak for you, but I'll speak for myself. Um, getting my handicap to where it is now, uh, I didn't know. I, so where did you end the season at? I ended the season right at 13. And what was the lowest you got to? 12, 12.7. Nice. So that's pretty damn good. And what did you start at at the beginning of the year? Uh, 15, 15, 16. Yeah, so you so you had like a three three and a half drop on yes, your handicap this season, which playing that's... playing a longer course. Yep, and again, towards the end of the season, we started playing the hybrids a little bit, but again, well, only because it was cold and the the leaves uh, and you know, all that garbage. Ninety percent of the season we played from the whites. Yep, yep. And uh, to watch my handicap go down, playing from the whites there. Um, what's the yardage on the whites there? The whites is sixty three fifty nine. And yeah, that's, yeah. Know, 60, and 63,059 yards. Navigating your way around that course, especially like hole number um, 15. 15. I mean, 15 for me is if I flush my drive and hit a perfect three wood, I can get there. Yeah, but yeah, I, they have to be both perfect. They both have to be perfect. So I play that hole like a par five. I, I take my bogey, get out of there. Bogey is a par for me on that hole. So I think uh, that's most people who, who and, don't and again, get it long. You know, you, you navigate that, right? Um, but again, the course, the year, put it, and again, I put in a lot of work early in the year, in the middle of the year when I was having my slump. Um, yeah, usually you would have given, kind of given in, but you, you, you doubled down and, and, and I got, doubled put a down lot of, a lot work, of work in. I doubled down on putting a lot of work in putting this year, and I, and I was really happy with how that progressed through the season. Yeah, um, you, well, I, I mean, you putted relatively well all year. I mean, I seen, I watched you make some crazy putts. That and, you would have no business making a lot of times before. And again, confidence. Just confidence. I mean, seven, eight, ten footers. It's like, yeah, I can make this. Don't worry about it. And even if I miss, it was like, okay, well, at least, you know, I wasn't a foot away. Yeah. Right? You know, not not necessarily edge burning or pace or whatever. But, you know, it's like, yeah, you know what? You can do this. You can make these putts now. And it, it allows you to be a little aggressive. Yep. Right? For sure. Well, I, absolutely. If, if you're, you know, if you're online and you hit a ball uphill. And you're, you know, foot, foot and a half past the holes. Like, I don't worry about it. You know, it's just a tap him back. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you have the confidence that you're going to make that. But may, my percentage of making that first aggressive putt was way higher this year than it ever has been. Yep. I mean, and that's it. I and mean, it showed in scores, too. Like, you know, like, I had a rough month and a half there that, you know, I could barely get in the 80s. And if, if I did get in the 80s at all, and it was mostly low 90s. But when I made that mental breakthrough, and went to the course with no fear, then my game really started to kind of come around to where, you know, play, just hit the ball, whatever it is, go to it, play it, hit it again, go to it, hit it again until you get it in the fucking hole, right? Yep, yep. And and I, I, I brought that kind of mentality right up to the end of the season this season, and I finished strong, right? My handicap didn't blow up down the streak. Uh, uh, I said it to you a couple times. It was like the last, the previous Three years we played. I couldn't wait for the season to be over to go like be like, okay, I'm fucking done with this. This season I didn't want it to end. Yep. I, I'm. I was literally like, wow, this is the last weekend. But yeah, like we played I, our last official round today. Yeah, and 
I don't know when this podcast come out, but it's uh, what's the date? October October twentieth. We're recording this on October the twentieth, so we played our last round today, and uh, I'm pretty I'm sad the season's over. Me for too. The, for the first time that I, since I've been playing golf, I'm sad the season's over because I was I played well down the stretch and I still wanted to go and work on stuff. Even today, like today, I I, I think I shot ninety two. Today, um, you know, there was a lot of double squares on that, but there was also a birdie, some pars. Like I still wanted to work on this today. Well, I shot I, I shot the best the best nine hole score I've shot at Medicine Hat today. That was one under, right? Yeah, one under on the front. On the front, yeah. Like we started on hole eight. Yeah, because I shot. Start. Yeah, shotgun started at eleven, so I went par par, and then I. But how did you start though? I start. I started par par. Okay, like uh, but like eight on, nine. I started par par. Okay, yeah. And then ten, uh, ten to eighteen was a bit of an adventure. I ended up eleven over with three consecutive doubles to end the front That's end how the I back. Started the day. It was three consecutive doubles. Well, I, I nine and ten was consecutive doubles. Well, I mean, yesterday I shot a ninety-six. Like I haven't shot in the nineties in months, <laughs> and it was just one of those. I mean, it was a windy day. The conditions weren't great, but I mean, I and I hadn't. I haven't played much lately either, to be fair. And again, but to be fair, um, it was just like you know, I went home and I I threw the I threw the uh, the jailbird in there today. I'm like, it's the last round of the year. Whatever. I mean, just go out and have some fun. Do your thing, right? So I mean, I made the turn, or we made the turn to one, and I was, yeah, I was twelve over, and I was like, it's gonna be tough to get this back, and uh, so I ended up shooting. No. No, sorry, I made sorry, I made the turn to one, and, and we were, I was eleven over. And I was like, it's gonna be tough to get this back. I, I proceed to bogey one, and, and and take and I'm like, well, now I'm twelve over. I mean, I'm basically playing bogey golf right now. So then, uh, two, I finally make two. I made a really good birdie putt from the top. It was like a twenty five footer, I think. Yeah, that's right. Like it was. I'm just kind of like I'm above the hole. It's going downhill. I'm like, oh, this is not a great putt. But you know what? We'll make what we can do. And I don't have the. I don't have a great feel with that jailbird yet because I've only probably played it for a dozen rounds. And uh, so I made a really good putt and I got a birdie. And I'm like, well, I needed that. Now I'm at. Now I'm at eleven. And then you know it's. Then I par. And then I I par again. And then. Um, Hard. Oh yeah, I duffed. I duffed my chip. Or no? That birdie that one? Which one did I birdie? That birdie five? I don't know. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I I didn't birdie pot. Birdie five. I parred five because I duffed my fucking chip and I ended up getting on and I one putted six. I birdied. I put it up the up the fairway. Hit a really nice approach shot and then again drained like another ten or eleven footer and then seven which is the par three where we ended on. I had a chance at another birdie and I was, but it was a terrifying downhill putt. <laughs> and I, I kind of just baby limped it. Cause I'm like, I just want to, I just want to get it close for a par and it kind of spun out to the right. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't really give that a chance to go anywhere. But, uh, so yeah, I shot one under on the nine and I'm like, that's crazy. Yep. Like that's, that's the best I've ever shot on any nine ever. I I mean, like man, I've done that three times now. And I think next year when we go back, uh, We'll have a few more opportunities at breaking that 80 next year. Yeah, man. Because, I mean, like, I, you talked about getting your handicap down. I'm down to a 9.9. Like, I got I got it down last weekend to a 9.9. Finally broke the double-digit mark for the first time ever. Which is something we talked about even when we started this. Like, could we get into single, single digits? And, yes, granted, on pretty much a lot of this stuff, I'm, like, a year behind you. Yeah. Right? Um, but it, it's it's wild, though. Like, it, it it's... I mean, for me to even get a sniff and get into there, like I, I've been. What's a consistent play, though? Yeah, well, and right. that's what it is, right? Like I look at my Golf Canada app, and it's like 82, 82, 82, 83, 81, 80, 84, 85, 90, 90, 84, 83, 82. <laughs> yep. It's like you know, like if you consistently shoot in that eighty to eighty-five range, and that's what people had told me before. They're like, you can get down to a single-digit handicap, and I'm like, well, how does that really make sense? Okay, well, whatever. And, and just kind of grinding away, but we figured out a real good way to kind of get around that course now that suits yep. our games, yep. right? Like and we again, know we, we do play the game differently. Yes, we always will. And uh, 
yeah, navigating our way around the course. Like, the, I mean, we played so many rounds there this year, I don't know, 60, 70, 80 or something. Um, I haven't counted all my cards yet, so I don't know how many rounds I played. 50 that. plus for sure. Yep. Um, and not having the course intimidate you. Yeah. Like, I mean, well, I've, I've never really been afraid of that course, but it, like I said before on previous podcasts, when we went to Medicine Half before, it used to be break 100 day for Alvin. 100 day for Alvin, yeah, you bet. It's like, can you do it today? And it's now it's like, no, man, it's like we're trying to break 80 yeah. when we go out there. Yeah. And I mean, you know, sometimes you, you push it a little bit. I mean, there was a chance last weekend I was like two over, I think, or two or three over through nine, and then I fell apart. And, you know, I shot like an 83 or something, and I'm like, fuck. Like, it's right there if you can just consistently play 18 holes. Yeah, you bet. But it, it's, it's a tough game because, I mean. Fucking, I can't wait to just start again next year, right? Like, uh, I'm going to do some. I mean, we both and... we both incre- increased our ha- or decreased our handicaps by like three to four yep. points, right? Like that's our handicap index. That's that's impressive. Like that's really tough to do. So I mean, I'm pretty excited to see what where next year takes us. And again, like going and playing on the Alberta Golf Tour wasn't intimidating at all. It was actually it was like terribly exciting. Yeah, and I mean, but it's just. Just to even put yourself in that position. But we're above. confident now in our game. Yep. Like, if we would have done this a year or two ago, said, it would have been a nightmare. I said this to my wife, like, talking about golf. Like, I golf with more with diff- more di- more different people this year than I ever have combined in the past three years. Yep. Because I really wasn't afraid of my game. Even if I double bogeyed a couple or even tripled a bogey, there's – I can get around. It's not It's not a problem anymore. So I don't mind showing my game to other people. Who are out there maybe playing as good, better, or worse than them. There's me. It doesn't matter. Like I just go out there and play my game now. Well, I mean, an old guy stopped by our tee box on the way in today, and he's like, he's like, I'm headed home, and we're like, well, we're gonna play the last two holes back because we just want to get a couple more swings in, right? And he's like, yeah, that's what those guys are doing. He's like, I'm going home. He's like, I just shot the best round I've ever shot in my life. And we're like, oh, that's awesome, man. What'd you shoot? He's like, I shot an 80. He's like, which is pretty good for an old fat guy like me. And I and I'm like, dude, that's awesome. He's like, but I'm going to go home before the before that magic breaks off. And he's like, I have to relearn how to hit everything next season. Yeah. But I mean, like, th- those are the moments when you're playing this game that are that are the fun things, right? Like, you, it, it's, you know, it's funny because I, I look at, like, you, even today, I went down to the golf course and I'm like, I played like shit yesterday. Yes, I haven't played much lately, but I rushed everything. It was rushing to, to swing the ball, not going through your normal routine, j- being jittery in your setup, not focusing when you're putting, this, that, and the other. And I mean, I'm like, so you got to slow everything down. I'm like, oh, I could have went back to my old putter. I'm just going to throw the new putter in. Just have some fun. Relax. And, and when you tend to relax and you have fun and you trust what you're doing, that's when we shoot our best scores you usually. Bet. You bet. 100%. It, it, it's such a funny game that way. But I mean, it, it is a game that is like, I'm, I mean, it's it's a game so I'm, addicting. It's a game I'm totally enthralled with. Um, there's not a lot of time during the day that I don't think about something golf related. Yeah, man. Whether it is our social media stuff, whether it is the game of golf, whether it's my setup in the bag. I put a new putter in the bag yesterday for the final two days of the uh, season because it showed up. Um, but I'm not going to talk about that. I'll talk about that later on. Um, and yes, I mean, this type of stuff. I'm going to do some work over the winter. Uh, I think the club fitting time is here for Alvin. New iron set is here for Alvin. So that's going to be. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what you early, got, man. Early in the new year. Um, get you, get you into a, get you into a properly fitted clubs, put some new technology in that bag and see, is, see what the Alvinator can do. And again, over the next couple of years, I'll build my bag. Like you built yours. Yeah. Start off with the irons, maybe move to the wedges or the woods and uh, up, upgrade the driver. Yep. Piece um, by piece by piece. piece by right. Piece, right. But the start is to get that, uh, approach game dialed in with some new irons that uh, are fitted to me and my swing, and uh, yeah, just again looking forward to. You'll, have, you 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 will you will not regret it. I, oh, I, I promise think, you. I know, I, but it is that next step <laughs> yes. in the evolution of my game, right? It's like you can't go with stock clubs now for the fifth year in a row. Well, no, right? not no, with how much golf you're not playing, how right? Much golf you're playing. So like, and I mean, pl- planning planning for us to play more events on the Alberta Golf Tour and stuff. You got to try and give yourself as much of an advantage as you can. Yes, yeah, so that's that's coming, and yeah, we're, I'm looking forward to that. That's good. Yeah, so I mean, that's our recap of the Ironman. I mean, that's our, I mean, our sad end to our season sad. today, unfortunately, well, just, on October twentieth. You know, not and, sad end to our season, but just you know. Uh, well, we're sad. It's over. It's sad. It's over. I mean, I mean, we had a uh, like, it's we, the like first we said, year. It's the first year I've ever been sad that the season's over, and then. 
but, you just got to take that for what it is. I mean, we get crappy-ass winters up here, so I'm, like, not looking forward to that. I'd rather it's oh. sunshine and green grass and let's go play some goddamn golf. But, I mean, there'll be plenty of time for that. So we're going to prep over the over the winter, and, you know, we'll have lots of, lots of guest pods and different pods that we'll have out. And, I mean, we're looking to, the, you know, the more experiences that 2024 is going to bring for us. Looking forward to it, man. Yeah. Anyways, we'll catch you guys on the next episode. Take care. Later.